Good morning, guys. Still going on with MRIs. Today, I want to show you how ChatGPT understands MRIs. Basically, what I want to do is I want to show you that we can talk about MRIs with ChatGPT. Today I saw in the news that in Russia uh, mail carriers are giving diagnosis for uh, people. Well, the utterly incredible weird development. I guess they don't have enough doctors, but There is significant target area in the right temporal lobe region. It, this could be a fluid filled cavity, which is what it is because there was uh, it, operation to remove it. Effects could be memory issues, difficulty with both short term memory and long term memory, seizures increased risk of seizures originating from the area, language and comprehension problems, what was I just doing there, stuttering, emotional and behavioral changes, headaches, emergency symptoms, whatever. But correctly identified my issue. It understands that this causes memory problems. I can talk about it more. Okay, this is two year old. The home is indeed a surgery cavity. Let's talk about If the surgery involved hippocampus, it did not, we were talking about remove it, but it understands If it was left temporal lobe, it was right. It correctly says that there could be problem with speech. Auditory cortex issues with processing sound, possibly including difficulty recognizing where sounds are coming from. Uh, yeah. Emotional and behavioral changes, amygdala involvement, alterations in emotional response such as increased anxiety or difficulty processing emotions. Yes. God, yes. Behavioral changes, possible changes in personality or behavior, including increased aggression or apathy. Mm. If surgery was for epilepsy, improved seizure control. If the area removed was the seizure focus, yes. Uh, It could have had like uh, effect on the visual area. I've had that explore being explored a lot, but there's been some small changes. Rehabilitation, cognitive rehabilitation, engaging in cognitive therapies to improve memory and learning strategies, use of memory aids, uh, speech and language therapy for patients with language difficulties. We used to have this in Finland. We used to have this in Finland. They got rid of it. 
they got rid of it 2015 there used to be clinics where people go with brain damage they have zero these days nothing they got rid of them emotional and behavioral support counseling or psychotherapy to manage emotional and behavioral changes they got pretty much rid of that too medications yes anti-epileptics uh, regular follow-ups it is every two years let's see guys it understands MRIs now let's ask about the left side but imagine guys uh, so you can have private MRI I'm not recommending it for anyone but well, I had my MRI set private radiologist looked at them but so you can have a private MRI if you could not afford to have doctor look at them instead of mail carrier like in Russia you could ask ChatGPT about it if you dare because of course a lot of people would not dare but well so so it is not bullshit it is absolutely knowing what it's talking about it absolutely knows what it's talking about when it was uh, saying about the vernicus and uh, procus area it did not know which side left or right so it understands my my damage is on the right so uh, but as we are doing doctoring here I can tell you guys that for example my doctors did not give me this comprehensive understanding of the area and the damage they were just kind of observing me so in a way already the feedback coming from AI is better than from doctors it's no bullshit it's just as it is Examining the provided MRI scan taken from the back confirms the presence of surgical cavity on the right side of the brain, consistent with the previous image. The cavity is clearly visible on the right temporal lobe, indicating the area that has been surgically removed or affected. The surrounding brain tissue appears to have adjusted to the space left by surgery, which is normal post-surgical adaptation. That's exactly what I was told, that there is sort of scar tissue structural changes the brain can often compensate for lost tissue to some extent especially if the surgery was done a while ago allowing time for neuroplasticity to uh, occur fluid accumulation sometimes there might be fluid accumulation in the cavity which can be monitored over time to ensure it does not cause pressure or other issues The right temporal lobe also plays a, a role in the comprehension of the emotional tone of the language and nonverbal communication. I would say that that is true. I misread people. Um, I may 
misread people and that is a problem that's a problem uh, by the way doctors did not tell me that doctors did not tell me that I have seen a bunch hippocampus um, I probably have had Caesar's effect right there hippocampus so there's sort of effect on the sp spatial memory and orientation so I probably have some damage there to do the seizures. Um, recognition of faces and objects, I may have a little bit of problem with that. Um, if, and damage here can lead to difficulties in recognizing familiar faces. I kind of uh, may have walked by people who I know. Amygdala, also located in the medical medial temporal lobe, the amygdala is involved in the emotional responses, particularly fear and pleasure. Yes, I probably have had a problem changes with those. Social and emotional processing. The right temporal lobe helps interpret the emotions and intentions of others. Yes, I probably have had problem with that. Deep problems. It probably has led to me living alone. Now to think that when this damage was first seen, that I would have had a doctor go through this sort of a list. So, you had these effects? Well, uh, should we tell people, you know, perhaps, that, hey, you have this brain damage and it has caused this, and could we be sympathetic for your cause? No, that did not happen. It was like, okay, you have this thing, uh, whatever. Integration of sensory information. Multisensory integration combines information from different sensory modalities, such as sight and sound which is essential for complex perception and responses. Uh, I no longer make music. Uh, sometimes I dabble a little bit, but it had, as the Cavanova properly grew, it became harder and harder and harder. Auditory and language processing, difficulty processing sound, potential challenges in processing complex sounds or localizing sounds in space. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Uh, once again, understanding the emotional tone. Perhaps, perhaps. General memory issues. Where was I yesterday? I don't know. And once again, the uh, changes in emotional responses, such as increased irritability or anxiety. Uh, anxiety really marked this whole thing. It was from the start. Anxiety got supercharged. Um, challenges in understanding social cues and emotions in others, leading to social awkwardness or withdrawal. Uh, Temporal lobe epilepsy, God, yes. Um, uh, who needs doctors? Who needs doctors? I mean, uh, no matching guys. So in Russia, they're using male carriers for doctoring. We already have AI that's able to do this. Why not have AI? Well, at, in this case, help the mail carrier, but if I had had this sort of understanding of my symptoms when my thing started, I think it would have affected my relationships it would have 
change the way I react because I would have realized that I have problem with these things. It would have changed my life if I had had this list, say, in 2011. Of course, I did not have that large hole. But if I had understood that that area is affected, like if, if it had been told to people who know me and stuff, I think it would have tremendous effect. But all this came from a picture from an MRI. Dr. ChatGPT is very good. And if you have like MRI images or something you want to diagnose with ChatGPT, of course uh, you have to be kind of uh, mentally okay with it. And it might be a very um, scary process of having ChatGPT analyze your MRIs, but it can do it. It can do it. Anyhow, I hope you guys have that.